Ladies and gentlemen, about number nine is upon us. Three by two minute rounds in the middleweight division. Proudly brought to you by Mental Warfare Gym. Once again, when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mr. Jeff Chadwick. Introducing first, fighting out of Berwick and trained by Marcus Berg. Please welcome AJ Akbar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the mic. The man sitting to my left. And his opponent fighting out of Clyde North and trained by Jack Catagall. Please welcome Adam Trev. Thanks, mate. Steve, you've had a good night. We have, yes, sir. What a fight that was. Robert <laughs> Bob Morgan putting Ash Joyner on the canvas early for yeah. the second time, early in the second round. Referee calling a stop to the action. I uh, was uh, very happy, <laughs> very happy to see that. I don't know what to say. Yeah. He's had a big week. Apparently, his wife's had, uh, is it their third child? Fourth. Four. Yes, my now correction. Four, four boys under the age of three. My gosh. <laughs> yeah, hands full and still managed to get in here and get the job done. So good, good on you, Robert. Excellent work, boss. And Christian as well. Christian's a big, busy man and uh, he looked great. So. Yeah, both all, boys presented very well. They did, yeah. They did a lot of work for it too, so I'm glad to see it pay off for them. And there you go, folks. Them. Reward for effort. Absolutely. Here we go. Adam, see you tomorrow. Trevorrow versus AJ Baca. Trained by Marcus Burke. These guys have started a little more composed by looks at, uh, com compared to what I've had most of the night, so... <laughs> Oh, very nice. They look they both look like they know what they're looking for, both calculated too, so Adam landing the right hand early on and, and both boys looking looking like boxing. They are, yeah, they look uh, well trained. AJ pressing forward. Trevorrow circling to his left. Both fighters standing in the orthodox position. Jabbing it out at the moment. We're seeing a bit of distance control uh, here from Adam, which is good. AJ throwing the one, two, both landing on the gloves. Ooh, clash of heads there. Oh, that was, he's setting up that left, that, that I don't want to say a soft left, but a set up left hand to that right cross is, is had uh, found time a couple times already, so. Well, look out for that. Nice, nice, very nice. These rounds brought to you by Cass Concrete and Activity Playgrounds. Interesting round, very there calculated, you have it. yeah. No, it was good to see. Bit of a change of pace for most of the other yeah. fights today, so. Both boys feeling each other out there. This event streamed live by WKA TV. What are your thoughts on that round? Oh, hard one to call, actually. That's yeah, what I think. Yeah, it was a bit back and forth there. So good matchup. I think I got the first few fights wrong, so uh, a bit gun shy <laughs> to call it now. <laughs> no doubts about the previous, though. Let's go, ladies yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> That's how you want it. <laughs> Don't leave it in the judges' hands, That's ladies right. and gentlemen. That's right. Adam starting strong here. He Landing is, that he right is. cross, isn't he? Absolutely. Starting to show a bit of his speed too. AJ coming back. There you go. He's not going to let him just push him around. He's going to make him fight for it. So This one looks up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. 
both doing like really good setups off their jabs too. Like they're not just uh, sitting back trying to counter. They're just pressuring them and then trying to counter them off that. It's both boys boxing well. Adam, see you tomorrow, Trevoro versus AJ Akbar. It's a pretty cool nickname. I, like I think he likes it. It does <laughs> flow quite nicely. Yeah. Leading with the left jab there. Jab and move. AJ just leaving his left hand out there. That was a good little uh, sequence of head movement. Yeah, he, he, he slipped them all, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> AJ coming forward, but Adam good enough to get out of the way. Very slick. Just keeping Not out of range and then trying to... Yeah. Trying to counter. Ooh, oh, he's walked into walks one there. Right into it, yeah. And I think it's upset him a little bit. AJ coming back, trying to capitalise. Possibly even looking a little flustered at the end of that. Just at the end of the round, there got caught, didn't he? He did, yeah. And especially like he walked onto that one, so you find that a lot though with the amateurs. Like if they get hit, they feel like it's the end of the world, and they got to they got to get it back. Makes it a very exciting one. Yeah, slight change of pace from the previous action. <laughs> Absolutely. And both boys boxing well. AJ choosing to stand between rounds. Yeah. Looks to be travelling well within himself. Back to it, some hard shots already. Body head. Adam is bringing it this round. Oh, he oh, sends his ones up go. for grabs. Yeah. He's, I believe he's trying to come in and uh, make, turn things around a little bit. Ooh. Nice job. AJ trying to find a way in. I think Akbar's waiting for his moment. There it is. There it is. Yes. Uh, you can see it coming good, Nick. Absolutely, yeah. Yes, yes, AJ. Let's go. Too good. <laughs> it tightens up that right hand a little bit. He might have. Yes. That was a great right hand in the body, by the way. AJ's keeping his hands low. Dropped him down. Having some success, though. Yeah, he seems to be cruising along in this one. Um, Adam started really well at the start of this round. He came out strong. Um, Akbar just seems to be, find his range and his, yeah, and obviously oh. his timing and he's, he's looking good. And he's starting to steal this round away, to be honest. AJ keeping Ooh. Adam on the ropes and, and having some success landing. Absolutely. Combination punches. Well called by Steve Andrews there. Pressure was being pulled on. AJ landing Two in down, combo. We are ready to rock, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good fight. Well, Steve, how do you see this one falling? <laughs> Another one that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, um, 
a lot of these fights are starting in favour, of, you know, and then it's the, the tide's turning as it goes. Over, it. And over three rounds, it's, it's very difficult to sort of box. Um, I'm going to say Akbar. It'd be my guess. He's certainly if coming you, on strong in the latter round, wasn't he? If you're going to put me on the spot, I'm going well, <laughs> to go Akbar. I didn't want anyone to ask me. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thought I'd put it out there first. Smart move. Well done. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's leaving the impression to finishing the fight strong like that, but that second round, I think, is the one that's up for grabs, to be honest. I think, um, yeah. I think you're spot on the money there. Again, is it a case of too little, too late, or...? Interesting to see how the judges score this one. This bout was Bradley Wood, you made mental warfare, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. It is a split decision. Your winner, Red Corner, Adam Trey. I'm going to try and stop guessing who won. <laughs> well, wow, split decision there. Yeah, it was a close one for sure. Again, I think it came back to that second round. Um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go find it and watch it. Heavyweights up next. Yeah, a couple of big boys entering the ring. Always good fun. Dylan the villain Howard versus Hayden anytime. Contenaro. And his opponent, trained by Jack Calicol and fighting out of Clyde North. Please welcome HBK, the Heartbreak Kid, Hayden Contenaro. This gives us another battle between Nick Lund and Jake Gathercole's team. <laughs> Interesting to say the least. Our yeah, referee in charge, Mr. Jeff Chadwick, to get the action back underway. And we're off. Hayden takes the center. So very relaxed, very loose. Both these boys feeling each other out early stages round one. Oh, Ooh, that was a heavy shot. Slanted the big right hook. Yeah, he's definitely come out with the pressure as Hayden. He's um, definitely on the front foot here. Probing with that jab and seeing what's available. There we are, the right hand lead and the left afterwards. He's landed that left, hasn't he, on the on the way in? Absolutely. He looks very composed too. I will add. I've seen Hayden in the gym recently, moving well, putting the rounds in, carrying his left hand very low. Head movement from Dylan. Both boys exchanging jabs there. Dylan there with the right landing. Up. There he goes. Putting on that pressure. Oh, there we go. Aiden Walks carrying right his hand. That left. Yeah, needs to lift those hands back up, I think. Especially if he's going to chase him down. Dylan coming back over the top there. 
was a fun round. That was a good opening round. Yeah. Here at this Sale Memorial Hall. Coming up next, Lucky Frankel versus Jordy Watkins, followed by Cooper Martin and Chawan Akhtar. Of course, Fight Night 59 coming to you from the Sale Memorial Hall in Sale, Gibbsland. Yeah, the team Mental Warfare and uh, Nick Lund and Lightning Fight Centre have put, done a great job bringing boxing back to this area. A lot of grassroots amateur stuff and uh, just giving a lot of people the opportunity to get back to it. It's been a while since we've had that down here. so It has been great uh, to see it, it, it alive and well Absolutely. in regional Victoria here. Yeah, we love a good fight. <laughs> Dylan pouring the pressure on here, banging sure Hayden is. up. I don't think he wants to play that pot shot game um, with Hayden. He seems to be doing all right with that, throwing that jab and then leading with that right. And then once Dylan decides to turn around and put that pressure on him, it changes the tone a little bit. So a bit of a contrast of styles here, really. Or at least strategies, I should say. Got to be careful coming in. I just turned him there, yeah, backed him up onto the ropes. You get to see, I was unsure as Aiden was aware of it, but. Oh, oh, oh. he thrown some bombs there. He took uh, advantage of that little opening very well. He may have gassed himself out there. Still didn't do well yeah, to it. a big breath. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, he's, 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 right. he's worn a right hand there. <laughs> Dylan throwing himself off balance. He's, he's, that's how hard he's throwing it. He's, he's trying to close that distance real quick. Aiden's trying to get his breath back. He's Dylan do well to capitalise here. There One, we go. Two. He's starting to uh, get that, that distance when he lunges in. So, Oh, trying to time him here. <laughs> oh, he's landed there. Dylan there copping some punishment. Oh, Coming back. back. This is getting competitive. Very competitive. <laughs> this next round is going to be really interesting, I think. Yeah, that's a tough one to call, Steve. I, it is. I'm, I've I'm given not up doing trying. It. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me. That was a setup, wasn't it? Yeah. Both boys taking a sit. Hayden receiving his advice from Jake Gathercole. Looking forward to seeing him later this evening. Hayden anytime. Contarino and Dylan the villain Howard. looking for some angles this time this round as you can see he's uh, a little more lateral in his movement not so straight back oh nice I'd like to see him put that right hand right on his chin when he's throwing that jab he's right in just up a little higher Hayden obviously looking for the big oh, absolutely he's looking for the show stuff he is isn't he yeah Dylan jabbing nicely there. Maybe we set the standard with our last fight. <laughs> oh, there! Oh, and he returned. That 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 uh, rattled his bell a little bit. I think. Both very game though. You got to give him that. Hayden throwing himself off balance there. Dylan trying to capitalise, come back, and he's landed with the lead uppercut and a right cross there. Yeah, when he gets busy, he has some success there. 
I didn't and look again. at gas. Yeah, yeah, once he's still throwing <laughs> everything he's they got. He's throwing the kitchen sink at him. <laughs> he sure is. I hate looking know. tired. Oh, the hands by the hips, mate. Like. <laughs> Dylan trying to outwork him here. I think that's what it comes down to this fight is who's just going to outwork who. Like, they're both landing some pretty good shots. Nicely stone with the lead right. And then the uh, same thing again. Once he just puts that pressure on and that pressure on, he does pretty well. So, yeah. And that is it. Third and final round. One and done. Yeah, I don't know who won this one. <laughs> no one here brave enough to call. It's certainly not I. Yeah. It's getting a bit that way. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Perry Kayo. Your master of ceremonies. This is Bound Proudly brought to you by the Pain Group. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard as a unanimous decision. Your winner, Blue Corner, Dylan Howard. Howard. There we have it. Dylan Howard, congratulations. He's won that one on work rate. A hundred percent, yeah. 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 Weathered the storm early and then yeah, continued to push through. Great job.